Standoff with Sheboygan police leads to multiple charges. Semi-crash leaves one person dead in Manitowoc County. New details released in Sheboygan Water Investigation. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, November 21st, 2019. Sheboygan police arrested a man Tuesday afternoon following an altercation and brief standoff. This all happened at a residence on the 1400th block of Erie Avenue around 1 o'clock p.m. Police say they initially responded to a report of someone injured in the residence, but when they got there, a man was armed with a knife and refused to come out. According to the police, he also refused to let anyone else leave. A short time later, the man was arrested and the victim was hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect now faces charges of victim intimidation, substantial battery, resisting arrest, false imprisonment, and possession of drug paraphernalia. New details are being released about a fatal crash involving two semis in Manitowoc County. The accident happened Tuesday afternoon just after 1 o'clock or 1.30 at the intersection of County Roads W and K. Authorities say a 55-year-old man from California was driving a semi and ran a stop sign before colliding with another semi carrying fully loaded logging trailer. According to the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department, the man from California was ejected from the vehicle and pronounced dead at the scene. The other driver, a 27-year-old man from Kiel, was hospitalized with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. The crash also caused a small fire in one of the engines. Nearby roads were closed for several hours after the crash. Flammable organic hydrocarbons is the term used by city officials after residents of Meadowland Villa Apartments and on Union Avenue complained of a bad smelling water on Sunday night. Sheboygan Water Utility Superintendent Joe Trueblood said they began flushing hydrants through the site after the Public Works Department received those reports. True Blood reports that the foul water was limited to the apartment complex and was found nowhere else. Testing continues on samples to determine the source of the con contamination. Meanwhile, bottled water was brought in for any residents uncomfortable with drinking from the tap, although testing now shows that the water is clean. A fatal crash leads to the arrest of two twin brothers. In Manitowoc County, details were released yesterday regarding the incident that occurred this past Saturday morning in the town of Kossuth. Deputies were initially called out to I-43 at the County Highway K for a report of two men physically fighting. Before authorities arrived, the men took off in the car, which crashed a short time in the ditch and overturned killing a 29-year-old Michigan woman, and according to authorities, 33-year-old Corey Knepp of Michigan had been driving. Corey and his twin brother, Tyler, were both taken to the hospital to be treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Both are now facing possible drug and disorderly conduct charges. Although the investigation is ongoing, they both remain in the Manitowoc County Jail on $2,500 cash bail. Voter support for impeaching and removing President Trump decreased in the latest Marquette University Law School poll. 0.40% of registered voters in the most recent poll supported impeaching Trump from removing him from office, while 53% were opposed. Last month, the split was 44 to 51. Republican opposition to impeachment rose to 94% from 92% in October. Among Democrats, 81% favored impeachment, down from 88% in October. 
poll director Charles Franklin attributed the movement to Republicans rallying around Trump while Democrats were less unified. And finally, Sheboygan's Department of Streets and Sanitation Superintendent Jason Blasolia reminds residents that curbside collection will be adjusted for the Thanksgiving holiday next week. Monday through Wednesday, operations will be as usual, but with no collection on Thanksgiving. Thursday's garbage and recycling will be collected on Friday, while Friday's collection will occur on Saturday. Additionally, the city's recycling center will be closed both Thursday and Friday next week, but will be open for regular hours on Saturday, November 30th. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.